PC number 473, 5 seconds. Start. So, the Commissioner of Scheduled Caste and Scheduled Tribes has reported inadequacy of staff. This has also been recognized by the Home Ministry, but he has not been allowed to fill up the post. The efficiency of the staff should not be allowed to be sacrificed on the altar of economy. So, I intend to draw the attention of the Honorable Minister in this regard. While there is surplus staff declared, why can some of that staff not be utilized for the betterment of this department. Sir, evaluation cells have been set up recently at the central and state levels. These cells have been doing very valuable work, but it would have been much better if the reports should have been available at the time of the discussion. The census report with regard to the progress of the scheduled caste and scheduled tribes is not available because the policy of the government is not to give or collect information in this report caste or community wise. It is more than a decade and a half since the welfare of the backward classes and the question of removal of untouchability has become an article of faith and an important plank in the policy of the government. So, as the backward classes are backward socially, economically and politically, the government has declared that the backward classes should come up to the level of the other communities and assimilate themselves with the rest of the community. With that intention, the government has declared further that backward classes being a part and parcel of the Indian community are entitled to receive the benefits of the general development schemes and as they are backward, further special measures have been provided to accelerate their progress. So, the intention of the government is very clear. It is as clear as crystal that the backward classes should come up to the level of the rest of the community and they should benefit from the general development of the country. With the same object, every year we see large amount of money being provided in increasing scales for the welfare activities of the backward classes. Also necessary legislations have been enacted both at the central as well as the state levels. Times without number, various executive orders have been issued to enable the backward classes in our country to get the benefits of the various measures enacted by this parliament. Large amounts of money 
have been spent both by the center and the states for the welfare activities of the backward classes. Even in the sixth plan, we see that a sum of rupees 400 crores has been provided for the uplift of the weaker sections to enable them to get the benefit of it. Looking at the provisions and the various acts and orders issued by the governments both at the center and state levels, the commissioner feels that in view of the aspirations and intentions of the backward classes to come up to the level of the other communities, the orders should reach in reasonable time if they are to be implemented effectively and with a sense of urgency. Now, sir, the position is that the schemes are not implemented properly. There is no enthusiasm behind the execution of the schemes. There is no such urgency showing by the officers who execute the work. This can be seen from the big snowfall in the expenditure. If there is really sense of urgency on the part of the officers, there should not be such large shortfalls in the expenditure of money. Similarly, we see that so many cases about removal of untouchability have not been registered due to the lukewarm attitude of the officers. It seems that these people have no sympathy for the backward classes and we see that large numbers of people of the scheduled caste are not allowed to derive benefit from the provisions made under the Act Removal of Untouchability Act. So, it will be seen that during the period 1981-88, the overall increase in the agricultural production is in the neighborhood of 30%. But the wages of the weaker sections have not increased to that extent. On the contrary, there is decline in their income. If the scheduled caste and the scheduled tribe man is entitled to a share in the general development, then his income should have increased to the extent of 30%. This is clearly stated in the report that the economic and social conditions of the Harijans and other backward classes of the society have not shown any improvement. This is also emphasized by the Backward Classes Commission in its last report and it has led stress that the backward classes should derive the maximum benefit from the development of these schemes but nothing happened further. Afterwards, it was decided and agreed to by all the states to follow the formula of setting aside a portion out of the 
total outlay on the general development skills.